guys, my name is Marie and welcome back to my channel. Every Sunday I upload videos about DIYs, makeovers or crafting. And during the week, time permitting, I'll do a vlog. Now today's video is a little bit different because I felt like I needed to go back to basics and show you what I think you need in a beginner's toolbox. Whether you're about to set up your very first home or whether you've decided to start DIYing, I believe this is the toolbox that you will need. And don't forget, if at the end of the video you found this useful for yourself or if you know someone that might need this information, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and a like. Right, so this would be your basic, basic toolbox that I think everyone should have at least in their house. So you've got one hammer here. It's a claw head hammer. So obviously you hammer with this end and then you take nails out with this end. And I'll just show you a little clip right now. So that's what that's for. So everyone needs to hammer something at some time, whether it's just to put a picture up. Get yourself a knife. Um, you can buy blades to put into the knife. Everyone needs to cut at some point. Everyone needs a tape measure. So start off with a small one and then you can buy a bigger one when you need be. So the smaller one, it's only going to go to 12 foot. A, long, a bigger tape measure is obviously bigger, bulkier, and it's going to go 20, 30, 40 feet. Okay. Two very basic screwdrivers. You have a flathead one and I would start off with just a medium one. So that's a flathead because it has a flat head. And this one, I actually don't know why this is called a Phillips, but this is the Phillips. And you can see that's for the screws that have the X on the top. So you want a medium one of both of these. Next is your eye level. You want to use an eye level for multiple, multiple projects. The one in the middle here is for working out if something's level horizontally. This one is vertically and then this one is for a 45 degree angle so you've got all your bases covered here so that's a small one again as you progress you can get a much bigger one i have one that's probably about four foot long now next is your needle nose pliers now i use these quite often it's just for pulling out staples nails you can actually cut wires in this little piece here you put your wire inside and close tightly and it will cut a wire so i definitely recommend having one of those okay and then these pliers are for bulkier items so say you want to unscrew a bolt um obviously it opens up a lot wider and you can get around the bolt and undo it or do it up so both of those i think are necessary for a beginner's toolbox Okay, building up from your basic toolbox, you're now going to introduce your first power tool. And I suggest getting a drill. You're going to need it if you want to put in a picture, drill a hole for some reason. Um, just get an inexpensive one and a rechargeable one. Don't rush out and get the most expensive drill. I actually don't know how much this one was. We've had this one for years and years and it does us really well. So you want to get a little pack like this. So you've got your drill bits here for your different size holes and you've also got your attachments for your different screws to unscrew and screw up. Okay, and then it'll also come with this bit here. So this is a, um, a little extension that you can fit in the drill. And then so... For instance, if you're using this bit and then you need to do a quick change because you're using a different screw, you can just pull this one out and put this one in real quick and then carry on with your project rather than having to undo this portion, put this back in, do this portion back up. It's a lot quicker, so it's a little quick release. So it's a very handy item to have in your little toolbox. So definitely go to Home Depot. If you're not sure, just ask someone that works at Home Depot. Let them know it's your first drill. You want to get a pack like this and they will help you out. So if you're going to buy yourself a drill, you probably need your stud finder at the same time. 
I would definitely go ahead and get one of these because this is going to help you with your projects. You can pick up a saw whilst you're in Home Depot too. And lastly, you've already got your two basic um, screwdrivers. Invest in a little set. So these are the basic tools that I started with. I don't even have a toolbox per se. I just keep them in a Tupperware box all in one area. And it's a Tupperware box that I can easily carry from project to project. It's not one of these really hefty toolboxes that I'm trying to pick up and strain in my back. So just start small and over the years you'll build up as you progress in your projects, you can go out and buy the additional tools. Now I myself only just recently invested, I think it was last year or the year before, 2020, I invested in an air compressor and I bought myself a nail gun. So gosh, I've been doing projects for 20, 30 years now. So, and I've only just invested in one of those. And then this Christmas, I also asked for Father Christmas to bring me a, um, an attachment to the air compressor that I can now spray paint furniture. I haven't used it yet, but when I do, I'm gonna share it with you guys. So just know that when you're starting out doing your DIYs, you don't have to rush out and get the latest and greatest tool. You don't have to invest hundreds of dollars just go to the thrift store so and see if they've got any tools. Quite often you'll find some in there in the garden section. Thank you for watching and I really do hope that you found this helpful. Um, comment below if you have any questions and have a great day.